Hi YouTubers, Phoenix Talon back in Creativeverse. So I'm going to do a tutorial video on the machines in Creativeverse. So we're going to see how to build them, how to use them, how to do really simple cool things with them, maybe even do some really complicated things like an elevator. I think that would be a lot of fun to do. Anyway, this intro video is just going to be on how to build the machines and what they are. And in future videos, we're going to discuss how to use them and some theory behind them so that you can go ahead and build your own machines. And if you'll just go ahead and bear with me and not be too afraid, I think we'll all get some learning and we'll get through this together. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so Creativeverse says that there are 16 machines in the machines tab here. Now, the thing is, there's actually a lot more that interacts with the machines, like the doors and the hatches and all the lights and I, I don't know. There's stuff, right? Uh, there's that corruption obelisk, too. And anyways, and the new pumpkin, I, I could go on. But the point is, is that what actually operates those devices are these 16. Now, LED is not necessarily a machine per se, but it is part of the digital logic circuitry, if you will. So it gets included into that. So let's go ahead and look at how they build. All right. So what we've got here is first is you've got your inverter gate. Now, the inverter gate, to build it, you get two stone, two magnetite, one slab, and one arc stone. And that'll give you eight of them. Okay. And next, you've got your number comparison gate. You go ahead and get eight of those by two magnetite, two stone slabs, and an arc stone. Up next, your flip-flop gate. Okay, your flip-flop gate, you get eight of those with a very simple recipe of two magnetite and one stone slab. Not very resource intensive. Logic gate. This is very important that you understand this later. Don't worry about it now. We'll get to it. Trust me. So, in order to build a logic gate, you get eight of them with two stones, two magnetite, one stone slab, and one arc stone. Another simple recipe for the delay gate. Delay gate, also known as the clock. You get eight of those with the exact same recipes. Two stone, two magnetite, one stone slab, and one arc stone. Next, the healing beacon. The healing beacon will give you two of them. If you go ahead and put together ten stalactite, two trog horns, four iron rod, two obsidian slab, and two corruption dust. You get those, you get your healing beacon. Next, you've got all of the colored beacons. They have very similar recipes, so that's why they're all together right here. So you got your blue beacon. To get one, over here it was two, this is one. You go ahead and throw together two glass, three coal, four of the stone rods, and then three of the blue pigment. Now that's the trick with the different colors. With the red beacon, it's exactly the same recipe, except that it's three red pigment instead of three blue. With the white beacon, no pigment. All right, so two glass, three coal, four stone rods, no pigment. You're good to go. Next is the yellow beacon. And you got two glass, three coal, four stone rod, and three yellow pigment. And then there you go. So that's all four of your beacons. All right, over here, you got your fan. Now the fan is two magnetite, two lumite. That's kind of expensive there. And four obsidian rods. Okay, so keep that in mind. You want to build a lot of fans, an elevator, or one of those roller coasters, you're going to need some lumite. All right, for the fan. LED. To build that, you got your four glass, your two coal, and your four stone slabs. Very cheap recipe to build the LED, which is good because you're going to need a lot of them. Number pad. Very simple. Two stone, two magnetite, and one stone slab. And I'll give you four of them. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention LED was two and the fan was two. All right, so good, good. Pressure plate. Pressure plate, you get four of them from four stone, two magnetite, and two stone slabs. All right, pressure plate. <laughs> All right, you got your switch. You get eight switches from two magnetite, two slabs, and four stone rods. I'm telling you, eight switches. That's awesome. There you go. All right, teleporter. This is probably my favorite, most used 
machine. You get one magnetite, uh, six obsidian slabs, and eight stone rods. So the most expensive thing here is the obsidian, which, not too bad. All right, you get two of those teleporters, right? And you need those because, you know, they work in pairs here, right? They work in pairs. All right, so that's good. All right, so that's all the machines. Next, uh, next time we go ahead, we're going to go ahead and start getting into what they do and how to use them. And maybe we'll even get into the room of logics. All right, so I will see you on the next one. Peace.